right guys, we're gonna get into some replays with the bundle. I think this might actually be episode one. Yeah, yeah it is. Alright. We're gonna just go up, go on back up. And... To the top. <laughs> now I didn't, I haven't watched any of these in, uh... Like, before, beforehand, this is all, you know, you're watching it with me for the first time. Rushed Town Hall 11, but with some solid loot for such a rush. Alright. He's got the Queen Walk. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a Queen Walk. Or at least a good Queen Funnel or something like that. And I don't know if I would have went that way. Hmm. Interesting. Just not how I would have handled it. He's I guess he's getting the eagle with it at least, so that, that's probably what he was going for. Good thing he did it then. Uh he's yeah, his healers are gonna help him take that queen on. His packers are gonna tear that up. I'm worried about his miners, though. How is he gonna... Oh, oh, bats. Watch out for the bats. That's scary. Oh, man. Mmm, that doesn't look good. Oh, and he dropped all of his miners, and I missed it. But that's okay, because you can see him right there. They're all in a bunch. His queen's still going up there. Man, that archer queen. He's, uh, got his warden tracking the miners, so he can pop his ability on them if they get too low. Plus, he's got two heals and two haste, well, three haste, technically. Oh, man. I can see why he three-starred. His queen's still alive. She's still killing it up there. Look at that. Man, I'm always surprised at how well the queen does. Oh, he's used a heal instead of popping the warden's ability. That's smart. Sometimes I don't think about it, and it just screwed. Oh, his queen died. It happens, and he's got most of the base anyway. Plus, he's he's got a million heal spells left. Or well, no, I guess he's only got the warden. Oh no, he's down on that too. I would not have used that. I would have saved that as long as I could. But he's got time, so it's no surprise that he does three star it. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, okay. Some of the miners did go in the middle. I thought they were just... The remains were running around the outside of the base. So this basically looked a lot worse than it was. It was a decently performed raid. But I... I don't... I don't use miners enough to be a good... Uh, a good judge on how they're used, you know? I, I don't really use them at all. If I'm honest, I'm pretty bad with miners. And then we've got Alex Kivett here. He's a... Oh, no! No whiz! Guys, don't do this. He three-starred, but don't do it. You're gonna want some sort of whiz. Or, like, something to take out a claim castle. Did he three-star? Yeah. <laughs> See, Valks are brutal when they get in there, but they've got to get in there first, you know? I would use, uh, I, I'd use, like, tw uh, 11, 12 Wiz, so, uh, some Wall Breakers, 3 Quake, 1 CC Quake, a Rage, and a Heal, if you really want to do something like this, which, again, I don't recommend. This is a risky, risky army. Look, he's even got Clan Castle Valks. It worked out, but if there was a Clan Castle like a dragon... Ooh, it would have been over. And he's brutally killing this base. And there you go, you just watch him melt. 
Valks are strong, but they can't do it on their own. Moral of the story. You got great finds, though. The loot for Town Hall Lake, that's a great loot. On down to this. Oh. Okay, so Chaotic. This is Chaos, his uh, mini. He's doing the same army on his Town Hall 10 that he, we just watched him do on his Town Hall 11. Okay. We're gonna watch this at two times speed. I do like the, uh, the queen. The, the uh, little walk funnel thing. I don't know quite what he's going for. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't have used that yet. But okay. Worked out. Yeah, you're using it on a count on nine. I don't know. Okay. How long has this recording been going? I don't want to drag it on too long. Only six minutes. We have time for these two. Look, uh, his miners are going. Uh, that was actually done really well. At least from what I know, his miner, his miner's setup there was done well. I mean, look, there. He took the core of the base out so they'd run around the ring, which was, uh, which was quite frankly great for what it is. I mean, and he's got his healers still somehow. And now we're just gonna boost. There we go. I know I keep boot, uh, I keep speeding these up, but it's because I don't want to. Um... It's because I don't want to give you too long of a video. All right, Nebula's got a power potion going here. Hmm, some level four dragons look good. Oh, Clan Castle Hound too. Okay. Um, the bl okay, so the hound is a good thing because it goes right for air defenses, which if you put it, you know, with or just in front of your army, it'll be there before anything, it'll be at the next air defense before anything else, and it'll be taking hits. So you don't have to worry about it. The balloons uh, going through the middle, I feel like that was a bit just luck. The, I, sometimes the balloons will just go on outside or whatever. They'll follow the <laughs> defenses to the outside and just loop back in, which sounds great and all, because it's still getting the job done, but it usually <sighs> results in the balloons dying off. But we've got dragons pretty uh, healthily dispersed around the middle, around the base here, and we're just gonna speed up and watch them wreck the rest of the space. Alright. Oh, um, replays... Uh, see, the RWTB thing is replays with the bundle. RWTB went wrong on... went in, uh, in wrong on a base that had no loot anyway. This is a learning experience. Okay. Yeah, take that out. And then a little level six. Where are we going? Okay, so the, here's my issue with this. All of the balloons are in one area. And the uh, dragons were all placed down in one area. Too. Uh, they need to be spread, about, spread out a bit. So they, uh, so they don't just off themselves, you know. Like, seems to, like, is obviously happening here. I mean, look. These defenses are just cooking the dragons. Look at this. So. Yeah, if I would've. What I would've done is put, you can see where the army camps are. They're the big square building. What, what you would have done is place two E-Dragons on the edges of those closer to 
the buildings on the outside of them, and then coax the dragons in using these two to get to this compartment. And those would have just carved into the base a bit, which is what what you ideally would be doing with Dragloon Town Hall 9. This is not, and that's not what happened here. We're at 10 minutes. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me pause that. Look at this loot. And it's only a, a, a... Not even two minutes of raid. Look at that loot. Man. How's he gonna handle this? I don't... I'm no good with e-drags. I mean, I use them in looting raids. If that tells you how I use them. Okay, the one e-drag funnel... It seems to be very effective. Replays with the bundle. Oh, okay, he's coming out on this side, alright. Now I can see why this would be good, because there's so many big defenses clumped up right here. If he freezes this sweeper, uh, oh, come on. Um, I guess he's not... There it is. I'd have froze that a little earlier. But, hey, you know, you do you. He's getting most... He's got a good chunk of the loot already. But he isn't close to that dark yet. His slammer still hasn't popped and he's over 50%. This says only good things. Those wizard towers scare me. And if you didn't have so many balloons left, I'd be worried. Okay. Oh no! Come on, guys, just just get the the wizard tower. The, oh, he's still got the slammer. Does the slammer even pop? Well, I don't think he. I don't think it did pop. I managed to save its thing the whole time. Wow. That was impressive. It's going up on YouTube. That went really well, and I couldn't keep track of it for a bit. Well, guys, I think we're going to have to call it quits here, because I'm getting... Uh, we're out of replays, and I'm getting antsy to do a couple of war attacks. So, this has been episode one of Replays with the Bundle. I'll see you in the next one.